Hello chess friends and welcome to you out of chess channel and welcome back to our Compton Chess Games Play by Computer series. So in this series we're following some great games that have been played by top engines and today I've decided to show a really wild attacking game played by the Stockfish 15 engine against another top engine slow chess. The game I found on this beautiful chess website, the, uh, the official ccrchess.com. Uh, uh, you can also check out the website. I think it's a great, great uh, website about chess where you can download all of the PGNs that have been played by top engines. So you can just maybe download some stockfish games if you're interested into the new games played by stockfish 15 but you can also download the pgns in particular openings if you're maybe interested just in the uh, i don't know maybe king's gamut you just download the pgns about the king's gamut and have maybe a decent preparation also in this particular opening so it's really really beautiful website but today specialty will be the so-called english defense and the english defense is uh, really annoying to handle i think uh, the english defense meets some ideas of the nimzo indian defense and also of the queen Indian defense but with a different move order in the English defense you're playing a little bit around this uh, types of ideas so you're trying to annoy your opponent with a different move order as I said it's I think really sometimes tough to handle if you don't know what to do from white perspective you had you could have really really problems uh, to play against this opening so that's why I think this is quite an important game in which Stoffer showed us really some wild attacking ideas how to dismantle how to destroy this very very annoying opening so let's see now what happens Stoffer 15 and against the slow chess in the english defense so here uh stockfish opened with the move d4 we have now the move e6 uh after move c4 now comes the english defense move which is now the move b6 so you see we're meeting some queen's indian ideas and basically uh what uh, black is hoping for is maybe to reach this position after move 90 c3 probably you'll get this pinning idea like in the nimzo in the defense and then uh here bishop to b7 will be played knight to e uh, knight to f6 with the idea of course to get the knight on e for so basically every move that black is playing now is uh control of the e4 square so you see the bishop is targeting that square the potential knight move is also controlling the square e4 the bishop on b4 is of course attacking the knight on c3 it's also controlling the e4 square so with a different move order uh, black is trying to annoy you and uh, reach this kind of a position where uh black could have a perfect perfect control of the e4 square but here after move b6 stockfish plays a normal developing move knight to f3 we can have now bishop to b7 and now a3 stockfish is not allowing this uh, sort of nimzoic move i like to call it the nimzoic move because it's uh simply the move bishop to b4 so as, as i said again uh black is uh, waiting why to play the move knight to c3 and then uh, probably you get pinned here with the move bishop to b4 but with the move a3 uh here stockfish is uh, preventing this idea now we have f5 by uh slow chess slow chess is trying again this idea knight to f6 and when then we with the idea to occupy the e4 square to have a perfect control of this uh, centralized square so in the continuation after move f5 stock will develop the knight knight to c3 knight to f6 and now an interesting idea d5 immediately because um the, as we said if you don't do this move if you not uh play d5 then you could have i think problems around the square e4 because uh, the bishop and the knight and also now the pawn are targeting the square now if remove d5 uh black has several uh, uh, positional problems because with the move d5 obviously white gains some spaces and what white is trying now to do in this types of structures is to get the e4 move if that happens in a good way for white so far uh, white cannot play of course e4 but if that happens in really an aggressive way in really a dynamic way then uh, white could have a really great control in the center of the board then with some ideas maybe bishop to d3 bishop to g5 queen to c2 uh, white could have really a decent setup so in the continuation we have now bishop Bishop to e7 by slow chess uh, my opinion d takes e6 here d takes e6 is not making sense because you can maybe trade off the queens but uh the good part about this move bishop to e7 is that you don't have to take out with the king and now okay maybe this is an equal position but of course stockfish never searches for equality stockfish wants to win the game so that's why this d takes e6 idea would probably lead into a two drawage position without of course the queens on the board so after move bishop to e7 uh stockfish Stockfish plays now the move g3. You see, Stockfish is preparing with bishop to g2. Uh, some ideas uh, to launch the e4 aggressive idea. In the continuation, we have now knight takes uh, knight to e4 anyway by uh, slow chess. We have bishop to g2 and now knight takes c3. So, okay, here slow chess um, doubled up the pawn structure by white. So, it's of course a structural weakness uh, in white's position. But, okay. Uh, 
black played too many tempi i think with the knight black already played once with the knight twice and then the third time in order to uh, just to maybe trade off the knights on c3 meanwhile you see white is developed white is uh, white has played now many many moves with the minor pieces and it's now just one uh, move far away from castling the bishop has a good activity and still our e4 goal is the main goal i'm telling you about this e4 move because this move will come in the game uh, really, really in a beautiful way so in the continuation we have now knight to a6 and this move makes sense because the knight will come to c5 and you see uh, you don't have any more the b pawn you don't have any more the d pawn in order to make further progress here in order to kick away maybe the knight on c5 so that's why here good move also by slow chess so we have now a4 kingside casting kingside casting and now bishop to e d6 by slow chess slow chess is preparing now a very aggressive idea uh, e5 if that happens if black connects somehow maybe the pawns on the fifth rank then black could have also good ideas of course e4 f4 ideas then uh, maybe to launch a flank attack then afterwards probably even some h6 g5 ideas so this four pawns could actually storm uh here on the king side so after move bishop to d6 stockfish plays now immediately the move e4 stockfish is not tolerating this potential aggressive e5 f5 uh, setup it's launching now immediately a wild attack because we have to say it when the bishop was in e7 it controlled uh here the g5 square now after move e4 we have f takes e4 but now stockfish has the chance here to play knight to g5 and will eventually also take out the pawn after a couple more moves so really, really uh, the game becomes now uh, dynamic uh, this is really a great method what stockfish did here in the continuation we have now knight to c5 knight takes e4 knight takes e4 bishop to e4 and you see now uh, okay many pieces are traded off uh, also we have to say it's still white has this structural weakness white still have the, has this uh, double pawn structure but look at this now this bishops are quite quite dangerous this bishop is a little bit out of game and we have to say it also this bishop is a little bit out of game it has a decent activity it has uh something to attack but i think uh, the bishop on d6 is a little bit lonely here it doesn't have support meanwhile look at this this aggressive formation of whites is a little bit different the queen will come into the game here on h5 so it's really now hard to handle here this position for black so in the continuation we have e takes d5 c takes d5 now bishop to a6 so you see uh slow chess is trying desperate it now to get this bishop into the game and now the fun very very starts many of us i think would play this move queen to a5 and uh, you hope that you have really here winning position because you're uh, launching an attack with three pieces you're having this beautiful bishop pair with the support of the queen uh many of us i think would make this mistake and uh, launch this kind of an attack because this is not working black has control play here with the move bishop to, uh, pardon me g6 you have to maybe sacrifice here the bishop after bishop to g6 actually black has a good uh, defensive move queen to e7 and now what should you do you have to now retreat with the bishop and now black simply takes out the rook and uh, this should be in my opinion a good position now for for black still okay this is not a clarified situation because still the king is a little bit naked but when it comes to dark sports we can at least i think play bishop to e5 bishop to g7 so the bishop still could be a good defensive piece in front of the king so that's why this is uh, not working so as we said here after c takes d5 bishop to a6 many of us i think would launch the attack immediately with the move queen to queen to h5 here stockfish plays a brilliant move and maybe you can pause the video and just for fun search here for the best continuation uh for white it's really hard to see but it meets with the same idea uh, to play the move queen to h5 but in a different way it's really very really wild i'm i'm not sure how to explain it further because this is really brilliant what uh, what stockfish did here so okay take your time and try to see now here the best continuation for white so okay okay the correct move is actually to play the move c4 here sacrificing a pawn but the cool part about the move c4 is that actually you're getting your bishop into the game because look at this now uh for instance if after move c4 and queen to h5 if you play now g6 
it's a little bit different this wasn't played in the game but i wanted to show you what was the difference uh now with the move g6 when you have played or when you didn't play uh, uh the move c4 look at this now actually the move bishop to g6 g6 makes sense because okay let's see now this defensive idea queen to e7 as we said this was the only defensive move for black now we can play bishop to uh bishop to uh, b2 and look at this now both of these bishops are very very dangerous now even if you try now bishop to f1 uh white doesn't have to even take out the bishop white has this beautiful deflection idea rook to e1 look at this this is really really wild you're simply deflecting the queen from uh the defense of the h7 square no check is possible because basically the bishop is standing here in the way the bishop uh, would be very very annoying here so that's why this is game over for black look at this uh, beautiful attacking formation so instead of this move bishop to f1 you can of course also play bishop to e2 in this position uh trying to kick away the queen but white simply stays on the attack play simply uh queen to h6 and will eventually play some ideas of rook to e1 uh attacking the bishop again trying to simply deflect the queen from uh the defense of the seventh rank and uh the game should be over here for black so this is not working so after move queen to h5 you see now g6 is not working that's the beauty about the move c4 that stockfish launched here so in the continuation h6 was played by uh slow chess that was the only defensive move we have now bishop to h6 if you take of course g takes h6 then you get checkmated uh, the queen is coming into the game queen to g6 king to h8 then now queen to h7 leads into a forced check with six checkmate sequence so after move bishop to h6 uh, stockfish got challenged with this move queen to e8 this is now the only defensive idea to try uh simplify the game by trading off the queens and if the queens would be off the board then this should be probably a drawish position but now stockfish again complicates things stays with the queens on the board noticed here that uh, white is here much much better activity white is here really beautiful attacking formation so we have now queen to e5 uh, trying to get the queen into the game rook to e1 placing the rook where already the queen is and now there is this threat of uh, bishop to h7 discovered attack and now uh trapping the queen if you try now bishop to d5 uh, this is not good of course you cannot take the pawn because again the queen gets deflected from the g7 score so you get checkmated so this is not working uh after rook to e1 uh we have here queen to f6 the queen has to get out of the range of the potential rook activity we have here now uh rook to c1 attacking now uh here simply the um the bishop queen to uh queen to uh f2 it doesn't make sense it only creates one check now we have to again stack back and look at this the bishop is hanging so basically you didn't do anything so after move rook to c1 we have here queen to h6 but now also uh stockfish grabs uh, here the bishop on c4 the problem is now this game uh led now into opposite color bishops end game sort of in which many times the game ends with a draw but this is not the case of this because look at this still this bishop is um sort of blocked out by the spawn structure of white so white has a uh, decent king safety here on the other hand black's king safety is not good because uh, black has here several lights for problems look at this the queen could come into the game the king is really vulnerable the rooks are very very active so uh when it comes to uh king safety i think white's position is much much better so that's why it's not quite this opposite color bishops and game still black has to battle here black has to struggle in order to defend and uh, in order to defend his king so after move rook to e8 was played by uh, slow chess we have now rook to e2 rook to e5 and now f4 now stockfish just continues the pressure with uh, with this pawn storm here with this three versus one pawn majority obviously white is here much much better so that's why uh, stockfish launches an attack here so after move f4 rook to e7 bishop to c2 including now all of the pieces into the game stockfish is trying now to build sort of a battery and still threaten some checkmates here maybe on h7 so we have rook to e2 queen to e2 queen to f6 getting the queen into the game we have now queen to h5 and we have to play now queen to h6 in order to defend again the h7 square it's a cat and mouse play now by stockfish against slow chess now uh, as i said black is just uh, defending the position so here the continuation queen to g4 bishop to c5 uh, a check we have king to g2 queen to d6 and now we have queen to h5 again 
threatening uh, queen g h7 so again you have to play queen g h6 we have queen g e2 now stockfish pretty the brilliant move occupying the only open file here which is now of course the e file and we can now also build a battery rook to e4 maybe rook to e8 there are is working so again black is on the defensive side so we have now queen to f6 rook to e4 we have bishop to d6 and now rook to e3 this move is uh, very important because of controls of course some uh, defensive ideas here before white it can also be maybe included here rook to f3 then you can maybe just to push pawn further so basically stockfish is trying to just improve the pieces all over the board so we have now queen to f7 queen to g4 and now a6 uh, trying maybe uh, some ideas of c6 then maybe b5 letting this pawns roll sort of uh, here okay we have to say black has uh, here a dominant position on the queen side but it's hard to let this uh, pawns roll because still you have problems with your own king so uh, black's attack on the queen side will be i think simply too slow here so we have now king to h3 and this is really a remarkable move here by stockfish 15 stockfish notice now that uh, maybe there are some check possibilities here um, by by black because okay uh, you, you can maybe lose now this pawn on d5 but this move rook to e3 was also brilliant because now for instance uh, bishop to b3 of course wins simply the game so this is not working so you cannot take out the pawn so after move king to h3 we have now g5 there is not a better way how to uh, defend this position we have queen to g5 again slow just try to simplify the game by trading off the queens but now after move king to g4 look at this stockfish gets the king closer and closer we have queen to g5 king to g5 and okay again uh, it's an opposite color of bishops and game but still this is uh, quite far away from the from a good defense for black because uh, look at this this pawns are storming the king is very active the rook is active the bishop is active and of course here uh, we have b5 by slow chest but it's simply too slow h4 king to h8 stockfish simply pushed the pawn further we have a check king to h4 and now after a takes b5 a takes b5 stockfish just continues to, to push the pawns look at this bishop to g6 we have now f5 we have now g4 here stockfish simply pushed the pawn further there's no counterplay for black black desperately try here uh to push the pawns on the queen side but now after king to h8 we have now f7 c4 rook to uh rook to e8 trying to uh trade off the rooks we have bishop to b1 look at this the the bishop is controlling both of the pawns even if the spawns comes on c3 c2 is never a possibility so the bishop is a good defensive piece here here we have uh, c3 g6 we have now the c2 we have now g7 uh the check we have king to h7 and now after move bishop to d bishop to c2 the game ended here with a beautiful beautiful checkmate delivered by the bishop so really really wild stuff incredible game i think it was uh, especially i like this move c4 in the game uh, this was i think uh the way to go this was a brilliant move where of course okay stockfish gave up the pawn but now launched this attack with queen to h5 and look at this now with bishop to b2 we, we saw some tactical problems so incredible incredible game uh, again played by the fish so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game i really, really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas of the english defense if you want to see more uh uh, of this beautiful stockfish games check out our comments chess games play by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what to say chess is the best of course